Okay. Yeah, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, oh yeah, they're bait and bear. That's cheating. That's too easy. That's, oh, uh, you know, I would never bait bear. I, it's okay. I get it. I understand the whole thought behind that. I hear, I've heard it many times. But let me tell you where we're at right now. We started in May, mid-May. Uh, we came up. We set two baits. And to date, we've brought in over 600 pounds of bread, 300 pounds of dog food, and a couple hundred pounds of, of other odds and ends carried in on our backs. The tree stand comes in on our back. You can't you can't bait near a road where someone's you know there's a lot of traffic and stuff. So it's going to be we get we try to get away from people. So it's a, it's a ton of work. Now we have to go in and carry everything out. So we've harvested one bear in two years. So it's not like it's not like it's easy. <laughs> It's a ton of work. It's almost harder than just taking your rifle and sitting up on a ridge and watching for a bear and, and shooting it if you see it. So, if you think it's easy, go ahead and give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> if not, I like getting the pictures. We got a lot of pictures on trail cameras. That's probably the, one of the biggest things that we get out of it because <laughs> we don't get many bear. It opened uh, a couple weeks ago, but we, we usually wait a little bit. All right, loading up to try to get all the bait and everything up the hill. We got a tree stand we're going to put in, two bait barrels, a bunch of bait, this tree stand as well. It's an old one I had. And of course, you got to have all the chains and locks and trail cameras. And... <laughs> Long time. Trying to plow through this snow so we can get down where I want to get to bear bait, but we don't even know if this is the last of it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
them. I don't know, but they put the tree in the way. We might have to break up the chainsaw. This is about to get real exciting. That's how you do it. Get <laughs> maximum wherever I go. <laughs> it's just not enough to carry, you know. Barrels. Barrels and <coughs> dog food. <laughs> I like to pump the arms too. <laughs> On his back. <laughs> Where's my wife? Your it's wife is right here. here. You all right? <laughs> I'm good. Hey, babe. Hi. <laughs> Bear baiting is no joke. <laughs> I can tell I got a desk job. <laughs> Me too. I'm willing. I got good life insurance. <laughs> Spend it wisely, dear. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. How, how long? Did I'm you not start much smelling. Really I'm bad. not much of a meal. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> You're not. Yeah. I'm You're vegan. Not. I need to do it. Hey, uh, yeah, there you go. Well, that's not going to eat for good. <laughs> What are we making over here? Uh, this is called raspberry marshmallow. Just put a layer on the bottom. Some French dip stuff. <laughs> <laughs> These are fancy. And we're gonna... Well, I heard only 300 pound boars will eat this stuff. That's what I heard too. And that's it. Kind of fruity ones, but they're all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, all right. We got a couple of these. Oh, uh, hey. This is, uh, this is a special blend. Yeah, is that the Model, new... Uh, modeled by uh, Whisbergs. Whisbergs. Hopefully bags. it doesn't have any GMOs. And... Yeah, you know, that might be a little bit too much sugar for bears. <laughs> yeah. You're going to give them... Four little jitters? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm concerned here. Are we, are we hunting a toy, small, medium, large, or extra large bear? <laughs> extra large. Because if so, then it's 80 plus. Okay, dog weight, 80 plus. Bear weight, 80 plus pounds. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, well, let's hope it's more than 80 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. I haven't been in this for 20 years. I still only forget when we go to take this out, I need to bring a wrench. Or it's staying or forever. Or a chainsaw. Huh? Or a chainsaw. Yeah. As in a saw that will cut the chain. <laughs> Chainsaw gets it. Oh, oh, you're so funny. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, if I want to take a nap. This is small. Mm -hmm. You Mary. should drop it about four foot. Hey, what you got in that little bag there? <laughs> Some pastries. Some treats. Need no wildlife. Huh? A little bit heavier than I thought. Bread? Yeah. A bit of bread there. Go on, go make me a sandwich. Put it all in there. <laughs> hey, we're up here today. Going to go check our baits uh, and maybe sit on them tonight, depending on what's on the cameras. But uh, Corey and Marissa set on the bait last week and had a small bear come in. Marissa, what do you think? We're gonna see one tonight. To go see one and shoot one. Yeah, you think it's gonna happen? Bear, Hopefully. bear hunting Middle. adventure number three. Weekend one of baiting. Last weekend was amazing. I didn't think Corey would get any bears on that bait up in the bridge, but that's where the big one was. You didn't think so, huh? No, I didn't. I just thought it was it too open. Too light. It was more open than I thought yeah. when, when I originally had gone in there when we yeah. went back to set the bait, but my whole thought is because around that corner is all and along the river. Else down there. Nobody. Yeah, there's no and and that's where we saw the one live bear. Yeah. Ten minute show. Yeah. Kudos. Come in here and check a bait. See what it's looking like. Looks like they got the barrel pulled off the side of the tree. <laughs> oh yeah, they've been on this a lot. Well, our barrel was up here, but they have, man, they really. They got, oh, they the camera too. Look at the camera. Yeah, they did. All right, let's check this out. 
I'm getting ready to go into uh, bait number two. This is our bottom bait, we're gonna call it green. This green barrel. So we're gonna go in, check it, add a little bait to it, and then uh, if it looks like something's been coming in here kind of regularly, we'll, we'll come back up and get our stuff and, or down and then go back up. It's back up in there. Making our way in. Got a little hike into this one, kind of up the hill. The tree stand. Well, camera's not bad here. Barrel's been beat up a bit. I think, uh, yeah. They've definitely been in here. Okay, we got some big bears coming in here. We've got at least two big bears one boar, one sow, but no cubs. Uh, looks like the sow is actually bigger than the boar, but we're gonna get backed out of here, get everything ready, and come back up and sit on the stand. Because we got bear coming in all afternoon yesterday and this morning already, too. What do you think? Good chance, maybe, huh? They've been in here all last night, all day today. So, yeah, they'll come back this evening, I think. I think we got a, I think, I think we got a good chance. Is it four now? They were here at 450 last night, so. Sounded like something hit the barrel when we were on our way in here. If it did, it took off, and uh, hopefully it comes back. We're gonna get in the tree stands. They're gonna be over here. I'm gonna be right here so I can film. And uh, we'll see what happens. Looks like a bear left a surprise for me right here.
That's a big bear. That's a good bear. Marissa, how do you feel right now? Good. Well, she, yeah? She thought she missed it. No, no. I think your first shot blasted right through him and he was, he ran right over there and he was sick. He stopped and he was hunched up like that for a minute. I think you went right through him. Were you aiming right here? Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel? Are you, are you shaky? I think I'm... My hand was shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking like the camera. You'll be able to see it. And then I kept turning it off because I was like, okay, my battery's getting kind of low, right? And I turned it off because I was like, well, maybe she's not going to shoot because you kept like doing this and I was watching. I was trying, I couldn't hear anything when I put it in. Yeah. So I was yeah, pulling it down. We were debating to shoot the, we thought the black one was bigger. So we're waiting for the black one to no, come. No, yeah. It's when, down on the yeah. right there and I'm like, that one looks smaller. Yeah, he definitely, that's, this one was running him off, but. So then, then I was like, well, I kind of gave you the signal. I was like, let me know if she's going to shoot. I was like, let me know if she's going to shoot so I can film. But then I saw when he came up and I was like, oh, they're gonna, she's going to shoot. So I was like, I was like, well, I got the camera on and then I'm thinking, okay, yeah. And I'm, and I'm zoomed in, I'm looking at the bear and all of a sudden she shot and I went, oh, <laughs> so it's going to, it's going to have a jump on it. I'm pretty sure, but hopefully it'll be, we can kind of see where, where she hit and stuff, but sweet. All right. All right. Let's go see what's up. See him? He's right there, isn't he? Right. Oh yeah. Right. No, to the right, just a little more. Right over there. Is that him? Oh, there's blood right here. Yeah, there is.
So this this is your first ever animal, right? Yeah. Second year hunting bears, huh? Because we tried last year yeah. a couple times, but got a nice chocolate covered colored bear. Can you move back a little bit. Chocolate covered. Not without letting your head drop. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's a good Idaho bear. It is, yeah. And you know? look at the claws on that thing. Big old gnarly head on that. Yeah, look at the scars on her. This one's in one of the pictures because I said, remember, I said, look at the scars on that. But that's yeah. a. But yeah. Friday night, heading out on our bear hunt. Yeah, hopefully get something tonight. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Steve draws a blank. Dude, you talk a lot. What do you know? <laughs> Cut, and take two. Action. And uh, Corey Prescott with uh, Western Roots Outdoors. Uh, you can uh, find him on Instagram. Instagram, yeah. And if you're watching this YouTube if channel, watch this YouTube. like and subscribe, like baby. And subscribe, baby. Yeah. Hit the thumbs up. I said, we're going to get some good shots. I'm going to put my arm up and then the bear grabs it. Just get a good. And then when it's walking, and then I'll wait till it gets a good thing and the blood's going everywhere and stuff so we can get some really good footage. Yeah, that'll get us a lot of views on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We go that extra mile. Yeah, let's do that. If that don't work, we're going to make pancakes. <laughs> Well, upper bait, black barrel, nothing here since I was here Wednesday, but an elk and three or four crows, right? And that's it, nothing. Oh. So we're gonna pack up real quick and zip down to the lower one. It takes us a little while to get down there. It's kind of late in the evening, but we'll go down and see what's going on. Maybe sit on it, we'll see what happens. Okay. We are up in the tree stand. Steve's feet above the ground. Yeah, Steve's kind of scared. But, uh, scared. <laughs> he'll, he'll be okay. He was petrified. Oh, no, no. Barely got him up here. This is my dream stand. Yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, nothing has been on the bait. Uh, so, we got up here before I checked the uh, camera. Mm -hmm. A skunk and some skunklets. <laughs> skunklets. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> that was not a bear. It's uh, it's actually time for us to get out of the tree. Just about here. It's 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 late, but we do have a question. Yeah. So what, what are baby skunks called? Skunklets. Skunklets. <laughs> is that true? Hmm. I've never heard that. Yeah. I've never heard that before. Skunklets. What is a baby skunk called? I think they're called kits. Kits? Kits. Like fox, like a fox. But I like skunklets better. Skunk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, dude, I'm crying. I know. Oh, shit. I'm going to pee myself. i got a piece of it sitting sit up here in this tree stand. That I don't know. Hopefully he stays down there because we got to get down now. Okay. I'm set up on the upper bait. Black barrel. I'm going to try to self-film. Uh, so if something comes in, I'll try to get the camera on it. And hopefully I get 
some footage of some bears at least. Nothing tonight but an elk. Had an elk walk by down below. Couldn't get the camera on fast enough to get any video, but it kind of stinks because there were bears on this the last two nights between 7 and 9 p.m. And so I kind of thought something would come in, but not tonight. Anyway, we'll try again later. Okay, I'm back in here. Uh, two days in a row. This is Saturday, June 5th. I'm going to sit on the top bay, but I got two more backpacks full of bread. About another 120 pounds of bread, so this will be six to seven hundred pounds of bread I brought into these two bays this year, so. And then probably three hundred pounds of dog food. So, it's, it's a lot of work. About ready to call it good. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna take more stuff in and then get my blind set up and uh, hunt this tonight. So, next scene is gonna be me and the blind. Came up to get the bear baits out. Hot, hot, hot up here. So we've been down in the creek actually getting everything wet first. Wanna hunt some beaver? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were down in the creek hunting for some beaver. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go up and get everything out of here. Yeah, they worked this over pretty good. Trying to get the dog food, I imagine. Anyway. A little more. Yeah. Uh. Well, gotta take them out, but obviously, hopefully we have some good pictures. Lots of dried old bread here. They'll still munch on, probably. We'll leave it yeah. here. Apparently they don't like croutons. Yeah. All right. <sighs> We're going in to get the other, the second bait out. This is the upper bait, black barrel bait. Yeah, got the green barrel bait out. Cleaned I think it up. This one had a lot more uh, activity on it than the other one. This didn't one it? did, yeah. And, and it's, it's not. I mean, it's an optic. Well, point. because we shot that bear on the one down there. After we shot the bear, not much activity other than a mountain lion, who I think might have been eating the uh, the carcass. We went over and looked at the carcass. Mm -hmm. Something's been laying back in there eating it. So, could have been the lion or another bear, but not much showed up. Unless it showed up in the last two weeks, which we're going to see the pictures here when we're done. So, yeah, it mm -hmm. should be pretty good. Yeah, locked up, loaded. Soon. Yep, cool. ready to go. Let's right. go get one. Ah, spider web! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, don't worry, it'll all be on camera. A lot of bears in this area. This is a lot easier to get to, too. I don't, I don't know, maybe... Maybe the bears don't like walking uphill either, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Maybe that's it. Maybe they're too tired by the time they get there to eat. Maybe they're throwing up in a bush, Corey. <laughs> Maybe maybe the bait that's easier to get to is more better. <laughs> I even stuck some bread. I even stuck some bread in that hole. They got it out of there. Look at oh, that. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you can tell. Them. They've, been tell them. They've been coming down the trail right here. Yeah. Activity here. Yeah, they got in there, didn't they? Holy cow! They ate everything except. I mean, there's still some dog food in the bottom of that, but it's it is like cleaned out. There was a pile of bread here. I, I'm not kidding. Huge. All right. We're going to get these out of here. End of the season. All done. No more bear this year. Maybe next year. 2021's over. All right. Yep. All right. I had to, I had to hit my Mod X, which we're not sponsored by, by the way, but we'd like to be. Yeah. Not sponsored, but it should be nice.